Oh, what is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Sea of Thieves. Now today we're going to be talking about all of these stuff rounded up weekly, so we actually have a load of information to talk to you about, including a game that is actually extremely similar to Sea of Thieves that you guys may want to pick up. As well as that, we're also going to be talking about some of the brand new rare announcements, including brand new updates to the game. So let's get right into this. So. Rare has actually announced that it is planning to start rolling out weekly updates to Sea of Thieves. Detailed in a GDC presentation, the developer's plan is to start splitting into smaller development teams so that several content updates can be worked on at once, calling the method continuous delivery. These rapid updates will move away from bug fixes and focus on answering player concerns that the game lacks enough cosmetic content and varied enemies. Rare emphasises that it's trying to keep patch files small, so don't expect huge content updates but rather small additions. Now this is actually pretty good indeed, I was really hyped when I actually saw this. Do not get put off by the fact it says smaller additions. Smaller additions just means that they're not big DLC updates, so they're not huge brand new maps that you can go and visit. These are going to be smaller updates, so you may see three or four new brand new enemies. We might get the pets in a brand new update. We might even see new different foods, new different quest givers, all of that type of stuff. Now this is really good because I do think the method that they are actually doing this is extremely awesome indeed because they name it continuous delivery. Now this is something that Bungie need to take a note from, obviously they have their game Destiny and the game just did not continuously deliver content. But it looks like Rare is actually going and doing this so it is a very very awesome thing to look forward to. Let me know if you guys are excited for this, are you looking forward to these smaller updates? I know I certainly am. Moving on though, they did actually tweet this photo. Now this is actually really cool indeed and I hope one day we'll be able to get this. And it says, there's something rare on the horizon. If you happen to across a ship with a rare logo adorning her sails, you're looking at a crew from the Sea of Thieves team. Come on over and say ahoy. So then guys, if you do actually see this on a ship, you're actually playing with the developers of the game. Really awesome indeed. Let me know if you guys actually come across this because I'm definitely going to be trying to play with the team. I'm a big fan of Sea of Thieves as you guys know and I do think that this would be pretty awesome to play with the developers of their own game. And it's really good that they're actually playing it as well. I really like it when developers do play their game because they get a taste for what they have made up and see improvements that they can put in the game to make it more fun. Next up, speaking about the game itself, you can actually see these images here. Now you guys may be thinking, what the hell are these images? Now these are actually early prototypes of Sea of Thieves. Now as you guys know, this game has been in development for a number of years now, and these were actually the screenshots that you guys could actually see when the game was in its prototype. We've also got this bit of text which says, you can see these images and more if you go hunting through the Sea of Thieves menu and trigger the game's staff credits. Something I did idly at the weekend after getting tired of my poor sloop getting shot to pieces yet again. The screenshots here are shown among the production pics and design documents along with lots of photos of the rare staff dressed up as pirates. A later Sea of Thieves build can be seen too, one which looks far more to resemblance to the final thing. There's some people playing that you might actually recognise too, including Xbox boss Phil Spencer and Microsoft Sunglass wearer Kudo Sonoda. Now really awesome indeed because I did think that these are actually cool to have a look through. I do believe that you guys can activate itself like it says in the text just by going through the menu and triggering these staff credits. It is really awesome to see what Sea of Thieves has actually come from and what it is today. I do believe the art style and graphics of Sea of Thieves is absolutely incredible and I really do love the art style. It's just really cool to see where it's actually come from, how bad the graphics were and how bad the sea did look to its final product. And then last thing that we're actually going to be talking about today is actually a really, really cool game known as Worlds Adrift. Now this is, if you guys imagine, Sea of Thieves but in the sky. You actually build flying ships and explore your own way alone or with friends. 
It's really awesome because it's an uncharted sky that is very much the game in Worlds Adrift. You may come across friendly other players, or you may come across other people who want to blast you away. But Worlds Adrift is much more of a sandbox than Sea of Thieves. It's got no quest givers that are currently in the game, and it has a world with resources where your creativity at the shipyard is key. Oh, and you get a grappling hook and a free-form climbing system for traversing the islands around you. It looks really awesome and it's actually going to be released on May the 17th. The graphics style is very similar to Sea of Thieves and I do believe the concept is really cool as well. Being in the sky with these ships which you can actually customise, like I said there's no quest givers so it is a true big sandbox game and really cannot wait to actually see that when it's released on May 17th. Let me know if you guys are going to check it out, like I said it's called Worlds Adrift and looks very similar to Sea of Thieves so if you do like Sea of Thieves I bet that you're going to like this game as well. But yes guys that's pretty much the video, if you did enjoy a like is much appreciated as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here for the latest and greatest content on Sea of Thieves. But as always, peace out and I hope you enjoy.